What in the hell? Okay, there was a tornado in Arizona this week. That was crazy. It rained a lot. And then I wake up to Miss Pac-Man is owned by Ad Games? What the hell? All right, you know what? I thought about this. I thought about it. We're not going to let this ruin our day. We're not. We're going to take this opportunity to honor Miss Pac-Man because you know what? You know what? At Games, you don't deserve Miss Pac-Man. But there is someone that does. There's someone that does deserve Miss Pac-Man. And you know what? Now they're not going to get her, but we're going to deliver Miss Pac-Man right to their doorstep. And we're going to do it right here. Right here, right now on this episode, we are going to give Miss Pac-Man back to the people that deserve Miss Pac-Man. And that ain't you, At Games. So in this episode, sit back, relax, and let's do it. If you smell, what Retro Ralph is cooking. Alright guys, here it is, something we will not see out of Arcade 1UP. Now with this news of the upcoming licensing agreement for At Games, but it is the Namco 20 year reunion, Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. So this system is actually running the Namco board in it, so it is running the original PCB and I will show you that in a minute. The graphics and artwork are by Tyler at Arcade Graphics. Also, the control panel is by Shane over at DIY Retro Arcade. So they did an awesome job on this cabinet. The front panel underneath the control panel is also by Shane. Um, DIY Retro Arcade. I love this. It had like a real retro vibe. It doesn't actually look exactly like the original cabinet did, but I thought it would make a really cool retro look for this. So I'll back up really quick so you can see the whole cabinet. Looks really cool next to my vinyl collection. Pieces of vinyl, if you will. But uh, yeah, I'm totally into this cabinet. It's got the marquee is the Scott Evans, I don't know, Ghetto Bird Blackout Mega Extraordinaire marquee. I can't remember what he calls it, but I will have a link in the description to it. There's the side art. And I'm gonna show you the insides of this thing real quick before we continue. I'll show you the coin door real fast. It does have a functional coin door. I didn't have a chance to clean this up inside, so bear with me, it doesn't look amazing on the inside, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what this system looks like. So let's go to the inside and we'll see what's going on. All right, guys, like I said, here's the inside of the cabinet and we are using the Namco 20th Anniversary Galaga Miss Pac-Man board. So it is JAMA, so it is a JAMA arcade board. If you go down here a little bit, you'll notice there is the video converter board. So that's what converts the CGA signal to something that the modern Arcade One display can understand. However, I am using a converter board that converts to HDMI. So I then have it running into an HDMI scan filter, scan line uh, generator. And then that goes up to the video board that plugs into the one-up monitor. So I wanted it to have scan lines and that's exactly what I did. Uh, again, this is a mess, so don't look at that, but uh, I'll clean that up eventually. I just had to get this video out because we must bring Miss Pac-Man back. Here's a closer look at the control panel and the side art. The other side's Galaga, so whatever. The Miss Pac-Man side art is pretty damn sexy. It might be a little difficult to see, but we do have scan lines, baby. We got scan lines. So I um, tried to keep it as authentic as I could. Uh, I'm going to set this up on the tripod and do a little bit of gameplay, and then we will wrap this thing up. All right, I'm shutting off the lights so you can see things a little better. I will let you know that uh, these Arcade 1UP Wave 1 monitors, which is what this is, has terrible viewing angles, so you're, it's going to seem extra bright. It doesn't really look like that in person. So, in order to play this, left side is Miss Pac-Man, right side is Galaga, so I'm going to press player one start on the right side for Galaga, and we're going to start this thing up. 
So the thing I like, I actually have fast shooting on, so kind of cheating. But the thing I really like about this board is the emulation is spot on. Uh, I don't know if you could consider this 100% one for one to the arcade, but it sure seems like it to me. It is an arcade PCB and it is a licensed one at that. So I can't imagine that this is far off from the original. So super fun to play. It looks great with the scan lines and I couldn't be more happy with the way this looks. So I'm going to jump over to Miss Pac-Man real quick so you guys can check that out. And then, um, and then we'll wrap the video up. All right, we're back at the main menu and you can see Miss Pac-Man Galaga 20 year reunion board. Uh, I'm gonna go on the left hand side. You can do this as player one or player two and take turns. I'm gonna do player one because it's just me. And we'll do some Miss Pac-Man. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see the scan lines, but they look really good. Um, it's, it's just tough with this wave one arcade one up monitor unless you're right on top of it. The image is not very good, unfortunately. So uh, they obviously made improvements with the wave two, wave three, but uh, well, more wave three, I guess. But um, but yeah, I don't even know what the hell wave we're on anymore. I don't even know if wave anything is a term they use or if we just all made that up. But anyways, who cares? Bottom line is they've made the, the new monitors a little bit better. Uh, so even though it looks good to me, it probably doesn't look great on video, but super fun board, this Namco, uh, 20 year reunion board is available on eBay so you can find people selling it. It's not that outrageous of a price right now But uh, but anyways, that's where you get it. So Guys, I'm gonna wrap up here with some just final thoughts. I just wanted to say I'm super happy about this I love this. This is actually one of the cabinets I've wanted for a really long time So I'm gonna keep this in my collection. This is not going into a storage unit This is 100% gonna be out for everyone to enjoy just because it's got two of my favorite games of all time on one single cabinet. So I couldn't be more happy. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I will have links in the description of what I used to put this together. Uh, I did want to mention real quick, the coin door I forgot to mention is uh, JC at Tulsa Arcades. It's a great feature. He sells that. Um, so if you want to put a coin door on a system, uh, he'll, sell a, he'll sell a door to you that um, the X Arcade coin door will fit in perfectly. So if you're interested in that. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video if you liked it. Please consider subscribing to the channel and I want to hear comments below. So let me know what you think. All right, guys, that's it. We will see you on the next one. Take care.